Good morning. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel reading today recounts the death of John the Baptist. By all accounts, Herod was a nasty man, and, as revealed by today's story, a weak and highly superstitious one. The characters in this scene run the gamut, from Herod, a lecherous and lustful adulterer, to Herodias, who was his brother's wife and considered an adulteress because she married Herod, and then there was the daughter of Herodias, Salome. And finally, we have John the Baptist, a righteous prophet of the Lord Jesus, who preached truth and justice. Let us consider only two, Herod and John the Baptist. Herod was weak-willed and morally depraved. Hence, it was easy for Herodias to tempt him with her daughter Salome. And although Herod was appalled at her request to have John beheaded, he caved, gave in, and did her abominable bidding to satisfy her mother, who hated John. Herod was a vacillator who compromised truth and justice when it was to his advantage. John the Baptist, on the other hand, was a righteous and holy prophet interested in one thing, proclaiming the coming of the Messiah. He was of humble heart, whose life was dedicated to preaching a baptism of repentance. With whom do I identify with more? John the Baptist the fearless champion of truth and justice, or Herod the vacillator, the one who compromised truth and justice because of pressure of opinion and his own personal interests. I am sure all of us can think of times when we compromised with what we knew was the good thing, the right thing to do, and took the line of less resistance. John is an example to us of integrity. And like him, we have, each one of us, been called in our own way to be prophets, to be spokespersons for God's way. It may not always be easy, but Jesus never promised it would be. Amen.